Hi folks, today we're gonna talk about a new computer concept called PCPy. It's not entirely new, but it's based on Raspberry Pi 5 success and other single board computers that tend to fiercely compete with Raspberry Pi 5 and classic PCs. While Raspberry Pi 5 is getting more powerful, with every model, classic PCs are getting smaller and more Raspberry Pi 5-like. App 7000 computer is especially interesting because it's based on Intel processor N100 and similar processors like N50 and N200. It all depends on how much you are prepared to pay for a computer variant. A basic UP7000 computer is about the same size as Raspberry Pi 5, but it costs almost twice as much. You still need a case for it. But why bother with these industrial-like computers? Wouldn't it be easier to buy a mini PC with Intel N100 processor in a nice case together with the power supply for about 130 US dollars and add IO ports to it. You can buy even cheaper refurbished mini PCs together with their power supplies and even operating system that is usually Windows. But you can install Linux yourself if you want to. If you are not a hardware developer, you might like this computer as it is. It's got faster graphics than Raspberry Pi 5. It's got everything that you need to install any kind of operating system except maybe for Raspberry Pi 5 OS. But what if you are a hardware developer and uh, you would like to connect some of your homemade electronics to the computer? Then it's still relatively easy to do it because the main argument why one would want to use Raspberry Pi 5 in the past was actually that it was simply the cheapest option to get your second home computer. But today it is easy to get uh, your hands on an old mini PC or a new one. It depends on how much power you want and what project you are working on. But it's pretty much similar to a Raspberry Pi 5, because Raspberry Pi 5 still needs a case if you are serious about using it. A mini PC, on the other hand, lacks I.O. ports, but it's relatively easy to make them. I'm gonna show you different solutions with different microcontrollers that I've been using for years with classic PCs. But you can also use them with other computers with USB ports, including Raspberry Pi 5s, if you run out of free GPIO ports. There are a number of ready-to-use solutions like USB to serial adapters that are used in many Arduino projects to program and to control homemade devices. However, they usually lack additional I.O. ports for control signals. The best way of making GPIO ports is simply to combine the standard PC, which may be a laptop, a desktop or a mini PC with USB ports with some kind of microcontroller based development board. If you design such a board yourself, you basically have two options. One is to use a pre-programmed microcontroller with the desired functionality that you need. And the other one is to take an, a standard microcontroller and program it with the desired functionality using a microcontroller programmer. I've built such a programmer myself with the help of pre-programmed microcontroller. A microchip MCP2200 microcontroller is pre-programmed to work as a USB to serial bridge but can also be used as a USB to GPIO bridge. There are also a number of microcontroller based circuits that you can buy in your local microelectronics store or via internet. Hellman WCI 8055N module is still popular with many home electronics builders. There are also a variety of Arduino projects that you can program yourself and add exactly the hardware functionalities that you need. Not only GPIO ports but also certain protocols that are much more reliable when implemented in hardware. You can find many examples on pcusbprojects.com website. There is also source code and all the required libraries. And now let's answer the final question. Is PCPy really faster than Raspberry Pi 5? Yes, it is faster because it's a classic PC. Its uh, emphasis are on graphics and processing power, not on communicating to whatever homemade device you can imagine. 
so it's usually got a faster processor it's usually built with more precise technology say 10 nanometers instead of 16 that uh, is used to make pcm 2712 system on chip and this means higher processor speed with the same power consumption or a little bit higher power consumption we get two or three times raspberry pi 5 speed if you look at pc pi as a whole package that it has all the functionalities of raspberry pi 5 and much more but the software tools needed to make your hardware work and uh, to make your own projects maybe a little bit more difficult for an amateur programmer to use. If you are building home electronics in Windows, you might also consider building your own device drivers and this may also complicate matters. However, you still have an option of using an Arduino board with a USB interface that connects directly with your project. Many use ESP be 32 modules from expressive systems to make really interesting projects like an internet radio, a weather station, a robot control and many others. Many Arduino development boards have an inbuilt USB interface that can be directly connected to your classic PC or Raspberry Pi. So cheaper EO ports that Raspberry Pi has are in this case not an advantage nor disadvantage. There is also a variety of Intel or AMD based industrial mini PCs that are similar in size than Raspberry Pi 5, but they cost four times, five times or even more than ten times as much. They are even more expensive than much more powerful full-size desktop PCs. Thank you for watching. Press like and subscribe buttons if you like the video. The next video is coming soon. Bye. Boop 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 bo